Hey there! Today let's dive into the world of the dark web, also known as onion sites. Now before you start, let's clear a few things up. These sites are more accurately referred to as hidden services, but calling them onion sites sounds cooler. So what makes the dark web so different from the surface web? Well, it's not just about anonymity for the users, it's also about the servers being anonymous. Imagine a party where everyone's wearing masks, and not just for the fun of it. In the typical internet setup, you connect to a website through your ISP, and that website knows your IP address. But with onion routing, things get a little little more elusive. Here's how it works. Instead of the usual VPN setup, where you have nodes and an exit point, Onion Routing uses multiple layers of encryption, hence the Onion name. When you connect to an Onion site, your data is routed through several nodes in the Tor network. Each node only knows the location of the previous and the next node. Because of this setup, neither the website nor you knows the other's IP address. So no one's sending you creepy ads based on what you searched for last week. Interestingly, Tor was developed by the US Navy to enable secure communications in hostile environments. They released it to the public because, let's be honest, it would be counterproductive to have a tool designed for anonymity if everyone knew about it. Imagine a spy trying to communicate without a secret code. Probably not going to end well. Now, how do you access these onion sites? Well, there are several methods, and some are definitely smarter than others. Hey, real quick. If you've ever felt stuck not knowing where to start with ethical hacking or had trouble finding solid resources, I totally get it. It can be overwhelming. That's actually why I put together a course that takes you through everything step by step, from the basics to advanced stuff. You'll get detailed lessons, quizzes to keep you on track, and access to a private Discord where you can ask me anything if you need help. There will also be a new course every month, covering every topic in hacking, including social engineering, website hacking, network security, reverse engineering, and much more. Oh, and there's a 7-day free trial, so you can check it out for absolutely free, see if it's your thing, no risk, I'll even pay you if it didn't help you learn something new. People are already seeing real results and sharing their progress in the Discord, which is really awesome. If it sounds like something you'd be into, the link's in the cards or down below in the description. Let's talk about the dumbest way to access the dark web. It's using an onion proxy. You know, those sketchy websites that claim to help you access the dark web safely. Kinda like trying to find a safe path through a minefield while blindfolded. Next, some VPNs offer Tor exit nodes. Now while that sounds convenient, I wouldn't recommend going this route. Using a VPN with a Tor exit point creates a risk for correlation attacks, where someone could potentially link your activity to your real identity. And let's be real, if your VPN provider gets subpoenaed, that's a whole different level of stress you don't need in your life. If you're looking for a safer option, there's the Brave browser, which has a Tor mode. It's technically fine to use, but there's a catch. The security settings aren't as robust as the Tor browser itself. Since Brave is built on Chromium, it may still have some vulnerabilities that could fingerprint you. Now, onto the star of the show, the Tor browser itself. This little gem is like Firefox on steroids. It's specifically designed for anonymity and doesn't run untrusted JavaScript or have any plugins. That's crucial because even seemingly innocent plugins can leak your information. Plus, one of its clever tricks is that it maintains the same browser window size for all users. This means there's very little personal info being given away. But if you really want to dive into the depths of anonymity, let's talk about Tails. Tails is a privacy-focused Linux distribution that's a favorite among serious privacy advocates. It's endorsed by people like Edward Snowden and is used by journalists in oppressive regimes. Even survivors of domestic violence find it helpful because it provides a safe space to regain control over their online activities. Now, if you're planning to use Tails, it's important to install it on a flash drive rather than running it in a virtual machine. Trust me, running it in a VM is a really bad idea. To get started, head to the Tails website and download the appropriate image. It's straightforward, and they even provide guidelines on how to install it on a USB drive. Once you've got Tails running, you're welcomed by a standard GNOME interface. From here you can connect to Tor, browse the web, or even chat anonymously. The default search engine is DuckDuckGo, which is a nice change from the usual data-hungry search engines. 
Oh, and just for fun, let's take a quick look at a popular dark website called Dread. It's kind of like Reddit for the dark web, lots of discussions happening. But if you happen to click on a link that leads you to a phishing site, don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Just remember that the lack of identification can increase the risk of attacks, so always tread carefully. Lastly, a little reminder, while your internet service provider can't see what you're browsing on Tor, they can see that you're connected to it. In some countries this might raise red flags, so consider using a Tor bridge to mask that connection. So that wraps up our intro to the dark web and how to navigate it safely. If you found this helpful or have any tips to share, drop a comment below. Who knows, maybe next time we'll explore some actual dark websites together. Until then, stay safe out there and happy surfing!